to the future. But tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. This is the statement given by Malcolm X. Malcolm X is one of the renowned guy who is, uh, in fact, who is one of the American minister and uh, who is an, Malcolm X was an African American Muslim minister and human rights activist who was a prominent figure during the civil rights movement a spokesman for the nation of Islam until 1964. He was a vocal advocate for black empowerment and the promotion of Islam within the black community. And that's why this statement is very meaningful. Education is the passport. Passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. It means that in fact, today what you will take the planning or you will learn the uh, lesson and that will be the ashkar in your life in the future. So what would be the objectives of this new syllabus? To develop a cadre of charter secretaries to imparting professional knowledge and training considered prerequisite for functioning of a company charter secretary whether in employment or in practice. Earlier syllabus was very much involved with the employment, but this time this syllabus we develop with an objective to acquaint adequate knowledge both in employment as well as private practice. The candidates are expected to be, th to be thoroughly conversant with the latest developments in different areas. Main focus of new syllabus about focus has been on zero added areas like advisory, advocacy, and case studies, compliance management, etc. Earlier, we, but in practice, we found that it is very much disappointing and not in line with the organizational coping, testing, and making presenting. This doesn't create any innovation and creativity. In view of that, the, the council has decided that from onward, the, the new, um, they, they already agree to in the case laws, case studies in new syllabus focuses in three ways. The first one is the core subjects. Core subjects, which subjects are course? Each member should possess new expertise in company law, company secretarial practice, securities laws and capital market, corporate governance and banking, NBFI, non-banking financial institute and insurance laws. These are the core subjects of our institute syllabus. Second one is ancillary subject. Each working knowledge to support core areas is required for proper understanding and application of core areas like accounts, finance, taxation, general and commercial laws, and corporate financial management. These are absolutely the link with the core subjects. And therefore, the ancillary subjects is also one of the important issues if you'd like to consider the core subjects. And the next one is the hybrid subjects which requires integrated application of several core ancillary areas like setting up business, governance and risk management, compliance management, drafting, appearance and pleadings, secretarial audit and due diligence and corporate structuring. This all the papers are hybrid. It means that these are very much important money core as well as the ancillary areas. Therefore, the syllabus we focused in three ways. One is core subjects, second one is ancillary subjects, and third one is the hybrid subjects. Hybrid subjects is very important because of that why these are very much in line with the global perspective. And if we would like to survive, we must have to think about that. Without governance, without risk management, without the compliance management and the corporate structuring in a modern management, it, it could be very difficult.
New syllabus started from January June 2022 session in foundation level and certificate level. It means that January to June we have already started the new syllabus and that already the first exam also happened. Already is going on. And the second from July to December 2022 new syllabus will be implemented in all levels both certificate levels and professional levels as well as foundation levels. The, these are the way these are the planning about when how we will start the syllabus it means that the from the next july to december this session already we invited the students to take admission and after passing this examination they will also be entitled to join the new syllabus instead of the old syllabus acknowledged following professionals they're involved to finalize the new syllabus review this time we three were involved myself professor mohammed namul hai and Syllabus review, it is a continuous 97. That myself and Mr. Angie Chokrub for T was involved. The first review was done in 2006 by myself, Angie Chokrub and Mr. M. Nasimul Hai. Myself, Itrat Hussain and Muhammad Nasimul Hai. And this is the third video. Sisa country syllabus. Before we review the new syllabus, the syllabus of UK Institute of Charter Secretaries and Administrators, Hong Kong Institute of Charter Secretaries, Indian Institute of Company Secretaries, Malaysian Institute come uh, charter secretary this five levels we thoroughly reviewed. reviewed the recent changes of the rules and regulations relating to corporate management amendments of company sec securities and exchange commission rules and regulations corporate governance code listing Charter secretaries in practice uh, in Bangladesh as well as the outside, the uh, secretaries in international association countries, other like laws like the insurance laws, banking and companies laws, and the financial institutions laws. We also invited all the faculty members to put their suggestions, comments, and recommendations for updating the new syllabus. Suggestions received from charter secretaries and faculty members of the institute also. Now the Existing syllabus and versus new syllabus. Look, existing syllabus that is the in fact the paper one in the foundation level it uh, it it is English and business communication. This proposed syllabus already implemented. And now it is not proposed. It is already implemented. Therefore, the new syllabus even it is called the business communication now the name of the uh, subject english deleted because of that in this level if we if we study the english ultimately it doesn't looks nice paper two foundation level the paper name was business economics and statistics these times also we maintain the same syllabus the paper three fundamentals of accounting fundamentals of accounting it is an initial accounting the, in fact the very in a, uh, preliminary stage accounting this uh, paper also we included the auditing the fundamentals of auditing would be fundamentals of accounting would be 70 marks and 30 marks would be auditing why because of that the uh, the present syllabus we don't have any auditing paper the auditing what we are uh, uh, we are maintaining it is absolutely relating to the secretarial audit and management audit the system audit not general audit understand and that's why the auditing is also included in the uh, uh, with the fundamentals of accounting this syllabus also exists in india like that Principles of management, the fourth paper, this has also been changed. His name is called Business Management, Ethics and Entrepreneurship. Our main thinking is also in mind that uh, once you have passed the charter secretary, all the times you will do what we do not. That would be the 
uh, owner, they would be the, in fact, the uh, owner of the organization. In this respect, the uh, entrepreneur's team is also an important topic. Here, the, the subject is also modified, the business management, ethics, and the executive level. This has been changed. It's called the certificate level. It means that executive level one, and uh, now it is called certificate level one, and certificate level two and three. And after passing the three levels, he will get the certificate of uh, certificate uh, level courses. So on the certificate level courses, the existing syllabus, it was the human resource management industrial relations and this time the human resource management industrial relations the same name the general and commercial law same name and the corporate accounting this has also been changed and here the corporate accounting and the valuation the valuation is very important as you know that today in the competitive business environment we need to make the valuation of asset valuation of shares this and that and this valuation is whenever you will have to carry on that is based on the on the recommendations of the Bangladesh Bank that is central bank state life in this respect the chartered accountants and cost management accountants are allowed to go for the valuation but we were not and that's why the valuation they also included in the syllabus with an objective that the charter secretaries can also have the opportunity to get the valuation job understand so that's why valuation is a very important topic we do feel and that's why the corporate accounting and the valuation together it would be the 100 marks instead of the corporate accounting next executive level that is the certificate level three two would be the corporate communications and report writing that the existing is the corporate communication and report writing this has been changed the same no we don't make any change the corporate communication and report writing Next, the direct and indirect tax loss, the same we may we will maintain, we are maintaining the economic loss and WTO paper has been withdrawn. This paper we have they dropped, and instead of that, we established the new paper is called information technology application in business. Because of that, in the modern management, the IT plays a very, very important role. If you are not updated with the IT, it would be difficult to survive in the competitive market. In view of that the economic loss at WTO that is the part of the economics and the economic chapters we also maintain the key topics but eventually this paper would be replaced by information technology and application and business here the ITs I will discuss details later on and next the level three the paper three, 301 was the company law and practice the same paper we are maintaining the company law and practice 302 is the company secretarial practice and that is also maintaining the same but uh, some chapters has been changed the 303 information technology and management accounting and that paper also dropped and this paper dropped because earlier the our students were uh, studied only 50 marks in IT and the 50 marks for management accounting here this paper has been changed and interpreting financial and accounting information this includes 70 is interpreting of financial statements and 30 would be the management accounting because of that as you know the, the we have given more emphasis and importance about the activities of the company secretaries here most of the public listed companies or the limited companies the cfo is there the cfo mostly they are the chartered accountant and cost management accountants here they need to go a to z but here those who would be the charter secretaries they don't need to go in details about the management accounting costing and the accounting and that's why we also given importance based on our areas the 304 the banking non-banking insurance the same papers we are maintaining and the professional one paper it was the advanced practice that there are two papers in company law one is the level three and one is the professional one the level one is uh, uh, in fact over, over overlapping in view of that the we is strong to feel that 
restructuring is very important, is very important area. Important area. And, that's and that's why, why the advanced company, company law and, and corporate restructuring is very uh, environment. And the 402 corporate financial management, same we are maintaining, 403 corporate governance. This corporate governance now is very much comprehensive syllabus and to be to be to be covered a compre comprehensively, particularly relating to the corporate governance as well as risk management. Because the present syllabus, the minimum risk management corporate in corporate tax, this paper also dropped. And here, the new paper would be the advanced taxation practice 100 marks. Earlier, taxation matters we studied 150 marks. Now, the taxation papers we will, we will study 200 marks. Why? Our objective also in mind that after passing our charter secretaries, after AGMA, well, he will become the fellow member. They have the uh, they have the scope to go for the private practice and ITP is also important issue in with this uh, uh, background uh, background we are also change our syllabus next is at the professional level too that is the final level the final level the corporate secretaryship and that is also we are maintaining the same the strategic management and operations also maintaining the same securities laws and capital market also same the secretarial management and system audit and this paper also uh, remain redesigned why because of that most of the organization i physically didn't find any activities of management audit therefore unnecessarily management audit we, we should not give more emphasis we need to give more emphasis on due diligence rather than the secretarial, rather than the uh, uh, management audit. The here, the new paper's name is the secretarial audit, compliance, and due diligence. All, all these together, the total papers earlier it was 18, still it is 18. And foundation earlier four papers, still it is four papers. And earlier, they after passing the charters. Secretary, secretary qualified charter secretaries, secretary, 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 they went for the internship. But from, but from onward, onward, the new the syllabus, syllabus is giving the message, the message no, no internship no would be substituted by case studies. studies. The case the studies that will be decided by the education committee from time to time, and that with the parameters and the guidelines will be issued by the education committee. The following subjects dropped, economic loss and WTO, corporate administration, management and system audit. This paper is already dropped. Following new subjects inducted, that is the foundation paper number three, auditing, foundation paper number four, ethics and entrepreneurship. 103, that is corporate accounting, including the valuation and new fresh paper would be income tax application in business and then 303 interpreting and finance and finance and accounts information financial and accounting information and 401 corporate restructuring risk management and another new paper advanced taxation practice and compliance and due diligence is also new topics the salient features of the new syllabus, following subjects of newly included, fundamentals of accounting I may discuss, fundamental accounting and auditing, the auditing is the new one, the business management, ethics and entrepreneurship is and then the a certificate lab technology and application in business new and the interpretation before that i am also giving some idea about what the what we did the which will be covered absolutely relating to the relating to the the what is auditing the definition of auditing auditing framework planning and risk assessment and the internal control audit review and reporting and audit evidence this would be covered 30 marks and that is the auditing and another one is the business management includes the ethics and entrepreneurs ethics and entrepreneurs here also we included the 
50 marks. The 50 marks among them, the first one is the business ethics. Overview the ethics in business, ethical principles in business. And we also uh, included the entrepreneurship. The entrepreneurship, the four key elements of entrepreneurship, traits of inter entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, creativity and innovation, and growth and challenges of environmental, entrepreneurial um, ventures, social entrepreneurship, government initiatives for business development. These are the these are included in the entrepreneurship syllabus. Next, the, the syllabus is the changes is the valuation. Valuation uh, here we given the emphasize about the introduction of business valuation and the purpose of valuation and the valuation piece and framework and valuation of shares intangible assets and the regulatory valuations company sec bangladesh security and exchange commission laws bangladesh bank rules income tax law and other relevant laws accounting for share based payments business and intangible assets and the methods of valuation this all these things will be covered valuation if someone go through the valuation properly ultimately he would be in a position to make independently valuation of individual Entity. And then we also included the new certificate level 2 is about the information technology and application in business. Here information systems in business, how the systems will work in a business that to be acquainted. Similarly information technologies how you will have to use and the e-business systems, similarly electronic commerce systems and the enterprise business system that we are is also important. All this together the syllabus and the new syllabus for the uh, for, for the next edition. And next one is about interpretation of financial um, sorry act a second hello hello আমি কিছুই পাইনি আমি কেউ আসে নাই তো আপনি লোক তো আসে নাই এখনো আপনি হার্ড কপি লাগবে না সিগনেচার করা সিডি তো একটাও পাইনি ঠিক আছে ঠিক আছে আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে আমি একটা প্রেজেন্টেশন আছি হ্যাঁ ওকে थैंक यू এন্ড দেন 303 ইজ अबाउट द अबाउट द পেপার ইজ কল দ্য uh, interpretation of financial accounting and information. This is a new paper, and this paper is also included the particularly the involvement of financial reporting. That is the IFRS, International Financial Reporting Standards, as well as the financial reporting of group companies and the sources of funding, analysis and interpretation of financial statements, interpretation of accounts ratios, interpretation of accounts, integrated reporting, all these to be covered in the inter interpretation financial and accounting information is also the management accounting management accounting included the um, budgetary and budget control behavioral aspect of budgeting marginal costing and break even analysis responsibility accounting performance measurement all these things will be included in fact interpreting financial statement and accounting information it is an international paper this paper maintains all this is a country and then Then the professional level one, advanced company law and corporate restructuring. Corporate restructuring is also important. Why? Because of that, as you know, the in the modern management, the most of the MNC cultures, this is a common phenomenon, corporate restructuring. And the joint ventures is also important to show. Here we will teach about the types of corporate restructuring and the acquisition of company business planning and strategy, process of memorandum of association and transactions and the merger and sorry, process of merger 
ट्रांजेक्शन डॉक्यूमेंटेशन मार्जर एंड एमालगेमिशन वैल्यूशन ऑफ बिजनेस एंड एसेट्स ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट स्ट्रक्चरिंग अकाउंटिंग इन कॉर्पोरेट स्ट्रक्चरिंग टैक्सेशन एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट स्ट्रक्चरिंग कंपटीशन ने कंपटीशन एक्ट रेगुलेटरी अप्रूवल्स ऑफ स्कीम एंड द फर्स्ट ट्रैक मार्जर्स क्रॉस क्रॉस बॉर्डर मार्जर वाइंडिंग अप ऑफ कंपनीज ऑल दिस थिंग्स टू बी कवर्ड अंडर दिस न्यू कॉर्पोरेट स्ट्रक्चरिंग रीस्ट्रक्चरिंग and thereafter the corporate governance and risk management this is a very comprehensive syllabus they are already in line with the corporate securities international uh, associations uh, member country syllabus this is about the, the board of directors of our governance board the remuneration of directors and senior executives reporting to shareholders and external audit similarly relations with the shareholders risk management and internal control accord and the corporate social responsibility and sustainability and all these things to be covered in the new syllabus and another one is the corporate uh, advanced taxation practice as advanced taxation practice this also covered 60 marks in income tax and 40 marks in bell audit tax and that is all together the in the intermediate uh, ex, the certificate level 100 marks and the professional level 100 marks all together 200 marks will be covered taxation the final one is the final level the uh, paper is the secretarial audit and compliance and due diligence this is also important because of that what we included here we included the first one is about the the compliance management 40 marks compliance management 40 marks and the 60 marks included the secretarial audit and due diligence the secretarial audit including secretarial audit internal audit and performance audit audit and engagement audit principles and techniques audit process and documentation forming uh, an opinion and reporting and secretarial fraud detection and reporting was the overview and introduction types of due diligence financial due diligence tax due diligence due diligence due diligence for merger and amalgamation and slum uh sell and take uh, take over issue of securities depository receipt competition law due diligence level of due diligence due diligence the regulation said due diligence techniques of due diligence and risk management and risk assessment non disclosure agreement and lastly due diligence impact assessment of non compliance and reporting thereof so all through this all these are the included in the due diligence chapter and these are the overall syllabus we what we did and not only this even internship report particularly case studies to be applicable for the qualified students who are on the job those who are on the job they will have to do the case studies the education committee will issue a detailed guideline in this regard case study topic and name of supervisor will also be decided by the education committee from time to time and then the article sheet with the cs form that proposal also raised the fresh students will go for article sheet with a practicing charter secretary form for a period of 3 years during the period students will work on full time basis and acquire adequate practical knowledge in the field of charter secretary profession corporate management and then students will be provided article sheet allowance to be prescribed by the council from time to time three years article sheet completion certificate will be issued by the cs farm article sheet experience completion certificate will be the substitute of internship or case study paper wise pass paper wise pass will be considered but strictly to be maintained the qualifying marks of 50 but not eligible to pursue in the next level until complete completed the at least two papers in the existing level reciprocal paper was exemption to be considered as per the charter secretary act and regulations this is particularly relating to the charter accountants and the cost and management accountants if the cn institute consider our students giving the our students exemption they will also get the exemption from us similarly icm institute if they recognize our students they can allow them the exemption we will also allow them this is the reciprocal council will decide based on the memorandum of understanding between the professional 
National Institute. As of today, we don't have any memorandum of understanding between the professional institutes. Thank you all. This is the overall scenario of the updating the new syllabus. And now, if you have any question, you can raise. Anyone, do you have any question? Assalamu alaikum, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Mr. Ibrahim Khaled. Ibrahim Khalil, sir. Uh, I'm a student, Khalil. sir. Sir, <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, sir, assistant professor. Recently, I got promoted. Uh, Without me, how you become the assistant manager? <laughs> <laughs> assistant professor, sir, not assistant manager. Hey, hey, hey. Assistant professor, how you become the assistant professor without giving any notice? So, when, whenever I meet you, inshallah, I will uh, arrange uh, Misty for you and uh, thank, thank, thank also you for others. Much. Thank you. I will, uh, I will meet the students and other people who look into this. Okay. <laughs> now, hopefully, I will manage for all. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, okay please okay, raise your question. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Actually, sir, uh, it's uh, very, uh, very hard for me to uh, to make any judgment, any comment uh, on on your works because you are my uh, classroom teacher as well as you are very uh, renowned in this sector so it is very tough uh, to say something about, uh, about this work <laughs> Uh, okay. First of all, uh, uh, I, uh, I, I uh, received uh, uh, mail from institute about the development of uh, existing syllabuses. But in the, at the time, I was busy with my, my work, especially uh, at the time uh, my promotion works were going on, so I couldn't actually uh, reply on that. Uh, but uh, this syllabus, as it is already implemented, so uh, it is uh, very tough to say something, especially. Uh, say something against this but still uh, i should uh, have i have some observation uh, if i uh, specifically say the paper three you said uh, you add fundamentals of accounting and uh, uh, auditing is added to the fundamental of accounting in the uh, in in that case uh, uh, as far as i know uh, this is for the people who are from uh, other background i mean uh, non business background if it is true in that case uh, they should know uh, they should have better knowledge about accounting because when performing uh, secretarial job they should have uh, accounting knowledge and uh, this knowledge uh, cannot be ignored so uh, it's my personal view i think uh, 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 fundamental accounting should have more focus and auditing could be uh, added to uh, another uh, subject and, and uh, okay uh, the next one is uh, 103 uh, corporate accounting Accounting and uh, valuation. I, I should say. I must say. This is an excellent uh, updateation because uh, our valuation is uh, required uh, nowadays. And uh, 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 next one is uh, two or three IT application in business. I, I must say uh, this is also very very uh, um, uh, good decision to add uh, a full hundred marks for IT application in business. But in that case, uh, 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 I I think. It should be uh, focus on the uh, 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 real application. Actually, we we, we uh, normally have some uh, knowledge about the uh, uh, theoretical knowledge. But in that case, uh, 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 you you wrote IT application business, but in implementation, it should be uh, uh, in in re in real field, so that they have uh, good knowledge about uh, uh, application, especially implementation of IT. Uh, uh, in uh, business activities yeah. and i think uh, th this is and, and finally one final uh, final uh, observation is uh, paper 4 uh, 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 ethics and entrepreneurship uh, actually when you are uh, talking about i was i uh, went through the vision of our uh, 
institute and i found that here it is written uh, creation of skilled professionals for uh, 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 for proper development of corporate management uh, corporate management and good governance in that case i think uh, it is it is uh, it doesn't directly support icsb objective to uh, uh, to entrepreneurship because uh, we are not here to uh, prepare entrepreneurship rather we are uh, we are here to make professionals to help the entrepreneurship so uh, so uh, you can uh, consider this these are the statement uh, still uh, i i am showing my apology because it's dare to say something uh, about oh, your okay, words thank you thank you so, thank so you I, I hope you will i, I hope you will uh, consider it uh, thank you very much sir i will reply okay. salam alaikum sir next anyone ছিলাম and uh, i have observed and i have listened to your presentation and your uh, our icsb new syllabus but i want to something on this syllabus on my uh, my interest was on information technology in business mm -hmm. and i am a hr professional in power grid company of bangladesh no. uh, my special focus in uh, hr automation uh, as you have already included uh, in your syllabus information technology in business i think that will uh, add uh, value in the business but uh, my observation is uh, according to ibrahim khalil as said before the practical uh, practical uh, uh, technological knowledge should be accord icsb student because uh, this is the age of technology without technology no organization no employee cannot move uh, move uh, in a single time please so, specify please uh, specify, specify. Hmm. i said could be uh, should focus on the uh, practical knowledge Uh, in technology uh, so that uh, the icsb student uh, student who will work in the organization uh, can add value to the business uh, by paperless working uh, or uh, give idea module preparation on uh, uh, technology implementation and as well as uh, uh, hr hr automation or something like that and another point is that uh, our icsb syllabus is uh, actually uh, applicable in the uh, applicable in the uh, existing system that means when a organization is structured uh, the this knowledge is applicable but how an icsb student can uh, add value to the business to develop the organization to develop the business to uh, to uh, to, uh, to modify the business uh, by according this by according knowledge from this syllabus so my uh, point is that uh, syllabus should uh, involve uh, include a subject or a subject or a part uh, that will help uh, the students to de of organization uh, i mean uh, organizational development and uh, when uh, a okay okay understood next any i said this you have any other question will get psychological set yes hello then yes i put you uh, already noted your uh, your point but next one if do you have any my la okay sir uh, last my last uh, uh, you know what i want to say that uh, the syllabus should include uh, organizational development uh, uh, development uh, uh, subject or uh, hr auto automation subject that will help the icsb student to saluddin please develop please introduce the as well as to where you are working in the business saluddin so i can say sir mane na where where you are working saluddin
Right, so well, next, any, anyone? Do you have a question? Uh, sir, Assalamu alaikum, sir. I want to ask a question. Uh, sir, I am a student of executive level 2. Uh, in your presentation, we have your seen that. Uh, executive level 2. What's your name? Uh, Sir, my name is Tohidul Rahat. Tohidul Rahat. Uh, Tohidul Rahat. Sir, my question is, uh, in your presentation we have seen that information technology replaced economic and WTO, economics and WTO. Yes. Uh, my question is, if I pass economics and WTO, will I be get will I get exemption on information technology after conversion? Definitely not. Definitely I have to study again information technology. Hmm. Mm. Economics yes, and sir. WTO, WTO paper already dropped and in this case we established the information technology, understand? They, 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 they need new chapter, okay. uh, new syllabus. They, therefore, economic and WTO, what you have learned, definitely it is between you add value. But this is a information technology cannot be replaced with the economics and WTO. Next. Okay. Okay, thank you. Sir, may I allow to ask a question? Sure. Uh, thank you very much, sir. I am Pedusti Akhtar Labuni, uh, Executive Level 3. Uh, sir, I have a question, uh, um, three or four questions. That is, um, uh, you have told about us regarding practical knowledge or... Mm, go ahead. Uh, sir, can you hear me? Ah, sure. We are listening. Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, we have been alone from a long term uh, doing online class and there's no physical class and uh, in my observation, on, uh, obviously it's a pandemic that we are uh, being uh, continuing in online class, but so is it possible for us to arrange 50% of the class physically because from our end, on online classes just uh, limits our learning capabilities. And though we are at the very first in our career stage, it is very much needed for us to collaborate with our teachers as well, along with our faculties too. And second one is uh, um, that is uh, we need more case studies. You have told about us regarding case studies, but so my question is: uh, in every level, uh, uh, will we got the opportunity to uh, practice case studies, or the only uh, professional level two or the qualifying students? will get the opportunities okay because uh, without case studies our um, knowledge or our studies being incomplete and I uh, I am feeling like only theoretical uh, practices we are going uh, from a long and so uh, for being a company secretary it's a very much needed for us to be a public speaker but there's no chance for us to practice public speaking so is it possible for us to arrange a public speaking platform where we can practice speaking uh, or, uh, speaking publicly so that amader to sir agm arrange korte hobe so why only english amader ke chotto porishore bangla te khub sposto kore ekta পরীক্ষা Next, anyone? Okay. Do you have any other question? Hmm? Okay, do you have any? None. Therefore, I am going for the reply, okay? Okay. Ibrahim Khalid, thank you very much and congratulations for become the assistant professor. Okay. okay. But thank you very much, sir. Suggestions, hello, suggestions is very much is very much appreciatable. And in fact, while we are doing the syllabus, we already mail all the members of the institute for their suggestions. But 
the answer was very much disappointing most of the members were silent the how but in future i we are expecting that these types of suggestion will also come from you the first question was about the fundamental of accounting and auditing the why the auditing included in the fundamental accounting fundamental accounting is also very important for the newcomers in fact foundation course at Um, we applied only those who are not business graduate as you know business graduates they all are acquainted with the fundamentals of accounting am i correct or wrong the default the fundamental of accounting is arranged only for the non business graduates in fact non business graduates they never studied the economics they never studied the auditing they never studied the even economics understand that that's why this is the arrangement the auditing just giving the fundamental idea nothing else and this syllabus similar syllabus is also exist in the our in our corporate sector. this international association member card countries second one is the corporate accounting and valuation yes thank you for your appreciation because of that uh, it was very much important for us because of that if we, our students are not acquainted with the valuation the institute members will never be entitled to get the recognition of the central bank or the regulatory bodies to go for that valuation and valuation is is one of the most important job in the competitive market and the uh, global practice if you'd like to go for any structuring or you would like to go for merger you will go for any valuation you must have to go for valuation and once you will start the valuation you according to ifrs you are also authorized to go for valuation therefore if you we our students are acquainted with that that would be very much helpful for their future career next one is the it application and business definitely it is an important and this is also in line with the corporate uh, practice corporate global practice and the similarly corporate secretary uh, sisa member countries uh, syllabus and it takes an entrepreneurship and that is also only for the non business graduates because of that at least they should know about the the ethics and norms about the moral and the uh, ethics these are the very important for them nowadays the moral is going to downward understand is going to out in this respect if we do not uh, discuss and we do not teach about them ultimately how they will learn the ethics and sir so, sir so, so, uh, uh, i i didn't uh, uh, raise any question about ethics i said about uh, entrepreneurship as our vision uh, is yes, say, yes i understood is, is I saying to sir okay sir yeah, okay sir like, because of in fact our entrepreneurship is definitely it is a, it is not a uh, easy easy thing it is a very tough thing and we, without a skill without capabilities no one can go like that but we, they will find them at least an idea about acha salauddin you already pointed out practical knowledge in technology in fact one thing remember rome was not built in a day understand in fact once we started the syllabus quite natural isn't it the here the syllabus do we uh, we already started 100 marks the 50 marks is human resource management and 50 marks is industrial relations understand the here we did 50 marks if you arrange the money organization development and this and that it, 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 it would be very difficult because of we need the guy who would be the company secretary he will never take the job of the company is uh, hr hr is a separate specialization area that is the headache of the hr the societies the hr societies or the hr uh, institutions they are doing uh, earlier the, we don't have any major in hr now every university is giving the certificate of major in hr am i correct the, in this respect the our main thinking is that about the how to make a good company secretary as a good company secretary he needs at least how to handle the human resource management in industrial relations as a compliance officer but compliance manager that he needs to know at to z about the hr practice as well as the hr hr 
ये लेबर हेल्डिंग दैट इज द इंटरेस्ट रिलेशन इन फैक्ट वी इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू मैच द सब्जेक्ट विद दैट बिकॉज ऑफ आवर वी हैव द लिमिटेशन वी आर नॉट इन ए पोजिशन टू इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ पेपर्स ऑलरेडी पेपर्स बिफोर दैट अगेन वीड लाइक टू थिंक अबाउट लाइक दैट इट वुड नॉट बी एक्सेप्टेबल टू जेट द सेकेंड वन इज अबाउट हाउ टू डेवलप द बिजनेस development yes there thank you for your suggestion we note it time to time we will arrange the cpd program in this subject okay uh laboni online class instead of physical class i also agree with you because of that my practical experience shows that the online class most of the people are not attentive they are not giving attention in the class just in the response what does it mean it means that just a signboard and keeping this signboard they are giving the attendance but truly they didn't uh, acquire the adequate knowledge in this respect practical class is more uh, uh, more effective the but the situation is like that covid it is an again deteriorating in this respect i don't know the institute will also align with that the, if the covid situation improve definitely we will think about the physical class i think the uh, council will also agree with your proposition and the next one is a case studies in what level the case studies eventually most of the professional papers the today you have understand that the, which subjects are core subject which are the ancillary subject and which are hybrid isn't it in this respect most of the core subjects and the hybrid subjects we always many whenever make and ask the uh, examiners to make a question and we suggested them to give the case study why because case study will absolutely give you an idea about the clear of your concept or not understand the here the uh, this uh, this we are the money we maintain him but this case studies is absolutely we discussed about the those who are professionally qualified charter secretary they supposed to do three months internship report a the three months internship report substitute is called the case studies the case studies it means that one case one client one company would be identified and the uh, the supervisor will give a case study and accordingly he will prepare and submit and that would be reviewed and this would be the uh, alternate course of the uh, internship before understand and next one is public speaking practice well perdosi one thing remember you are by born by born bangladeshi am i correct in this respect you know bangla better than me in this in this respect bangla somondhe karo bolar kono abokash nai bangla shobai bhalo pare kintu ashole bangla ta amader jonno mane eta ekhane chorcha korar cheite amader chete chorcha kora important holo jeta seta holo english karon because of that je corporate board is always mane works in english not in bangla in this respect we do not jodi aajke jodi bolan mane corporate wal jane je amra banglay porai मीटिंग anything more all, more all the questions already covered but thank you very much sir i um, uh, one more request sir we have no uh, social media page uh, that is um, we, i i personally felt in linkedin is facebook uh, that is why most of the people are unknown about our institution as i love my institution very much i just want to uh, see people when icsb will be um, speaked by my language or by my word everybody will recognize okay icsb that's great okay. okay we don't uh, who told you that we don't have in linkedin or facebook uh, face, uh, face, uh, facebook and we also have now we should have also we are also mentioning like that yes sir yes sir 
Do well. well. One thing, One thing remember, remember, I do I appreciate, appreciate being a student. Being a student. Your first, first job is to take adequate, adequate knowledge, knowledge and adequate, and adequate training, training, training so that, so that you, you can come can out successfully at an early stage. Understand? At the early year. And in this respect, you will be more serious about the syllabus. And if you do not understand anything, you can consult with your, with your faculty. And our faculties are very much cooperative. I am sure they will be cooperative. So well, ladies and gentlemen, in fact, uh, that is a very, uh, uh, very, uh, uh, in fact, interacting session. But even though the, I, I do, I hope that many questions will come. But eventually, they, they all are silent. I don't understand why you need people are silent. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Salama. Uh, I want to ask a question and uh, yes. Sir, uh, how do you merge uh, the learning student, uh, those who have uh, partially completed the previous syllabus, and now uh, they will be converted to new syllabus? Uh, so this may be that uh, some syllabus that uh, has been added uh, are not completed by existing uh, student. For example, uh, I saw your presentation where some courses uh, that uh, have been included. Uh, well, well understood. In, now, in which level you are studying? How do you mark the old student, old syllabus with the new syllabus? Uh, I'm I am replying your answer, but because no, what's about your level? In which level you are studying? Professional level one. Professional level one. Well, professional level one, the new syllabus, most of only one paper is changed. Every paper is okay to the corporate governance and the risk management. Eventually, I don't feel that there, you, we, uh, there is no major changes. So what the things, the up to level three you are already passed no question the p1 p1 from this next session you will appear if you did you appear the second examination yes sir yes okay if you come out success ultimately you will take admission in the level professional level two under new syllabus this is the thing like that uh, sir, I have, a, uh, I have another question. Uh, with, uh, as far as I know, we don't have any study, study manual. Uh, do you have any plan to introduce any study manual? Uh, that uh, I have seen other professional institutes. Uh, because uh, I that is very important. That is that is very that is very relevant. And that is very relevant. And that is very relevant question but eventually uh, in fact we are not in a position giving you any assurance or any uh, commitment but institute is trying to get the fund from the government if the government we can get the government fund definitely we will uh, we will implement the uh, our study manual but before that so long we this uh, we are not in a position to develop our own manual those faculties will teach you they will provide Provide you the adequate synopsis. Understand? Anything more? Assalamu alaikum, sir. No, yes, sir. Sir, 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 I don't understand what you'd like to say. Subject wise? Subject wise, pass. Jeta, eta, Subject wise, pass. For example, you appeared in the examination level one. Examination level that is the certificate level one. Certificate level one consists of three, three papers. If you would like to qualify the at least two papers, then you would be given the opportunity to go for the second level examination. Understand? It means that the three papers, the paper number one, paper number two, paper number three. You get the paper number one, 55, paper number three is 45, and paper number three is 40. It means that you have passed only one paper. That is the paper number one. In this case, you will not get any paper as pass. Why? At least you will have to add two papers at a time if you would like to go for the next level. But if you pass one paper, you will allow the pass. But you will not be given in the next level. You will continue your level one. 
money it money means that means every level must have to complete two papers then you would be in a position to take the higher level am i clear yes sir thank you any anyone more no. no okay i think we can conclude the program before that uh, the first by do you like to say anything If the presentation was there, I told you, sir. Sir, that is addition. Uh, that is not related to uh, uh, the today's topics, but uh, I saw the land at Abnagor. Do you have any plan to shift any permanent uh, campus, uh, uh, wherever it is? It may be at Abnagor or any any other. Uh, that will, I think, a permanent campus uh, will enhance our credibility and um, our. uh market value uh, yes i think yes i got a question one thing remember we are discussing about the syllabus understand and yes we are we are acmony we are clear about or to know about the syllabus what we changed and at, at the same time and why we have made the change and this all this nitigity but whether the office would be shift or not this is not my job understand that is the job of the council is it it that therefore the council if they feel they can do this but it is not so easy thing that uh, without any land without building construction you will shift the office there how it could be and not only this the place where we are maintaining the office is the most lucrative areas at the same time prestigious areas and the office uh, setup is also very unique the in this respect if we shift there could you feel that the students would be happy if they will encourage it They therefore they think, about think about in the, in the broader, broader perspective. perspective thank you thank you, you sanaulla you have yes, done yes, a wonderful uh, job and, and i think and members are members now equipped who have participated they are totally equipped for what we are planning to do and who what we are doing and what future is coming up this is open syllabus and as an higher thing will come we will not wait for few years we will try to incorporate in from in the in the, in the in the running process however thank all of you for uh, joining and i would uh, request all of you the for you learn about the details syllabus today you try to convey this things to your near and dear one because we want to have our society a professional society more larger and we want to accommodate more members in this infrastructure so i would request all of you to convey this message to all of you all the members near and dear to you and also in your uh, in your office and i would request our uh, secretary to say few words and conclude the session thank you thank you Mr. president uh, actually it is a great session i would like to thank uh, mr president for kindly present his whole session and give valuable remarks about this new syllabus i also like to thank mr sanawulla for his uh, interactive session which will give lot of information to the students council members even for me i have also learned about the updated syllabus i would like to thanks members and students who have participated this session and finally i would like to thanks the uh, technical team from icsb for arranging this such session and hope, and i uh, finally i hope this type of session will help student as well as member of icsb thank you all for participating in this session assalam alaikum